So each stand. Had you always planned that you were going to try and do a long shot? Because this is one of your party pieces. You do the shooting from the hip. You do the balloons. Yeah. Look, it was uh, on certain days you run with it, um, and that was one of the days with a big crowd there. Um, you run with it. I'm actually disappointed that I didn't keep going because it was the perfect conditions on the perfect day. So it was a warm day. The shot will fly further and more consistently. Uh, there was no wind, which obviously aids that as well. Timing was absolutely perfect. You had good clarity on the targets. And the thing is that you, you get so few opportunities to do that. And I thought, having got back to 130, I felt I could probably, on that particular day, gone another five or 10 and still broken it because I knew exactly where the target was and felt there was an opportunity there. But I wanted to keep something in the tank for another day, which has never happened before yeah. or again since. You true performer. I should have, I should have gone on, but hey. Look. I looked at the comments this morning. It's more abuse for the cameraman not focusing on the clay as opposed to your shooting. Everyone is saying what exceptional shooting it is. But I mean, but previously people have said, oh, we paid the crowd. It was a you know, rent a crowd and all this sort of stuff. It's like you can tell well, you by did, the reaction. Didn't you? <laughs> yeah. um, look, everybody, everybody that is there knows exactly what happened. And that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's all that needs to be done. I mean, look, there's been world record attempts done and they've done something in America and everything else. This was done on the spur of the moment and at right, any stage, the worst was shirt. three shots before I broke it. Coming. That was the point I wanted to make. Yeah. And, and you know, you can stand there all day long <laughs> shooting at a target 150 right, yards away yards. with threes and eventually you're going to break one. This was done in front of an audience, walking back live. So it wasn't a case of it was pre-recorded or it's been edited out or anything like that. No. What you saw is what you got. Shouldn't do that, no, it's true. I wanted to pick up on the fact that how many times you actually missed that target. And it was just three or, three or four times in the whole yeah. the whole thing. I mean, it wasn't you just standing there going, oh, give it another go. The crowd would have got quite bored very quickly. You know how to work the crowd <laughs> absolutely and, and the other thing is which is why i stopped when i did is you want to finish you know it's like quite often we've had these uh, you know and, and i and i've seen it this year as well is um you have you know a fantastic shoot um as in clay shoot and then they have a final at the end of it and the final is so ridiculous the winner shoots 16 or 17 out of 25 and everybody goes, well, what's all that about? You know, he's missed 10. I could have done that. <laughs> Whereas if you're, if you're breaking it all the time, it puts just a different aspect on it. Oh! Just gives you the idea of how far a shotgun will kill. Yeah. 